I do. My name's Phil Powers, but you can just call me the old man. Now, some of you have been telling me that I look like Orva Redenbacher. Others, Colonel Sanders. Well, that's okay by me because, you see, Orva Redenbacher's 100% all natural. And as we all know, the Colonel is finger licking good. Now, I don't know about other old people, but as for me, I love being old. I mean, everything I eat gives me gas, heartburn, or diarrhea. I'm constantly peeing in my pants, and my dick don't get hard. So, <clears throat> what's not to love? Now, when I was a young man, the three most important things to me was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Well, now that I'm a bit older, them things have changed a mite, and now the three most important things to me are comfortable shoes, a warm place to go to the bathroom, and depend on their pants that don't leak. And as for the rocking, well, I tend to do that in a chair on the porch. How things have changed. Let's face it, youth is wasted on the young. The other day, this young pissant come up to me, one of them perennials, yeah, oh, millennials, yeah, that's it, and said, oh man, do old people have sex? And I said, of course we do. Now, the only problem is that sometimes our brain makes a contract that our body can't keep, and we need them little pills. Now, the problem with them little pills is that, well, they can take the spontaneity out of things. I mean... You know, imagine you're sitting there with your honey girl and she's getting all hot and bothered and you said, Excuse me, dear, would you mind uh, starting without me? Uh, I'll be along in about mm, 45 minutes or an hour when these little pills kick in. Talk about a deal breaker. Well, that's what I was so excited when I heard about this little pill called Cialis. Now, the deal with this is you take it every day and then you're always good to go. Oh, that sounded like a great idea to me. Now, of course, it had some side effects. The announcer went on to say, Don't take Cialis unless you're healthy enough for sexual activity. For an erection lasting more than four hours, consult your physician. Excuse me? If I got me a boner that's going to last more than four hours, I can talk to no physician. I want to talk to one of them Hollywood adult movie producers, and me and Shorty here, we're going on the road, and we's going to lay us some pipe. Yes, sir. I can just see it now. The old man does Dallas. Mm -hmm. Got a nice ring to her, don't it? Yes, sir. Well, that's about it for me tonight. I'm afraid that I uh, about run to my time, and, well... Before I go, I'd like to leave you with a uh, a little piece of advice. You know, something that, uh, well, old people tell young people. <laughs> and sometimes that's about all we're good for. But anyway, here she is, and you might want to write it down. Life is not all about you and what you can get. Life is all about everybody else and what you can give. The more you give, the more you will receive. Take it from the old man. Been there and done that. Now you all have a good night. And remember, if you can't reach the stars, jump!